Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Today we are talking about the top five reasons you should visit Hilton Waikoloa Village on the big island of Hawaii. And also something that you definitely do not want to do that we did, so I will share that and a few other tips at the end of the video. So pull up a chair or do whatever it is you do while you watch YouTube videos. What do you guys do while you watch videos? I never pull up a chair. I'm usually cooking dinner or getting ready or working out or something. So leave a comment down below with what you actually do while you watch the videos and maybe I'll get some new ideas for what to do. All right, let's get into it. So reason number five to visit the Hilton Waikoloa Village are the beautiful grounds, the museum, the dolphins on site, all of the add-on experiences. You really do not need to go anywhere else. And just as with my Grand Wailea video, I would suggest not going anywhere else. You're paying top dollar for this resort because it is somewhat all-inclusive per se. Not in the sense that everything's paid for, but in the sense that everything that you would need is right there. So if you want to see more of the island, I recommend booking a few nights here just to relax and enjoy the amenities. And then on um, the days where you are sightseeing, I would book a place somewhere else and save some money. And if you are trying to decide on a resort property and you don't know if you should choose the Grand Wailea or Hilton Waikoloa Village, I do have an upcoming video all about that. So be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified as soon as it drops and I'll give you our opinion on the matter. But when you walk in, there's this just grand staircase and you go down that, it overlooks the lagoon and the waterfalls and the dolphins and then the ocean. There's beautiful gardens and bridges and I could go on and on but the property is gorgeous. Also, as you're walking from location to location, they have a museum throughout all of the walkways. So it's kind of cool because you're not just walking from here to there. There's actually some pretty neat stuff that you get to look at along the way. They also had family games throughout the property. Cornhole, a giant checkerboard, foosball, pool tables, so plenty of family entertainment opportunities. And be sure to get out at least one night and walk around because with the torches lit and the lights in the water, it is just gorgeous. Plus, the heat of the day is gone. It's a lot cooler. It's actually one of my favorite times to walk around and enjoy the beauty of the property. Also, they have so many add-on experiences here. Obviously, you're not gonna wanna do all of them or you will go broke, however, <laughs> we just picked one. We let our kids pick one. Uh, we did the luau. I believe that's about $140 per adult, 75 bucks per kid. The luau was great. Amazing dancers, amazing food. It was so much fun, but the absolute best part for me, <laughs> I love physical humor, so when they called some people up from the audience to dance with the um, hula dancers, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so hilarious. I. When they call for that, either duck, <laughs> put a camera up to your face or something, or if you're a great sport, go on up and entertain the rest of us. They also have paddle boards and these giant like ride-on trikes that you can use in the lagoon. Snorkeling equipment, we brought our own snorkeling equipment. I highly recommend that you do that. I will get into more details about that later, but you're definitely going to want that here. And then they also have the dolphin quest. So if your child or you have ever wanted to swim with dolphins, you can do that here. Even if you don't want to pay to swim with them, you do get to see them. You get to see the trainers interacting with them, feeding them, and it is a lot of fun. All right, so reason number four to stay at the Hilton Waikoloa Village. They have various types of on-site transportation. So it's kind of like Disney World in a sense. They have a tram, they have a little boat that goes through the rivers that'll take you from place to place. They have a trolley that'll actually take you to the mall that's nearby and also a sand beach. The resort itself does not have a sand beach. It's all the lava rock. 
but the trolley will take you to a sand beach. So it's kind of neat to just try the different types of transportation. And also all of the restaurants that are on site, you don't want for food here at all. You have breakfast in the morning, which if you have the Hilton Honors American Express card, you get that for free. I will leave a link below to that card. It also made me a diamond member, which is a lot of fun. It gives you free upgrades and some other things if they are available. But back to the restaurants and the food. They have 10 options for dining or drinking or just <laughs> lounging around with some type of food in your hand. So you do not want for that. They have a Mexican option, an Italian option, which we tried and was very good. The pizza's there, pretty affordable. Pizza goes a long way. <laughs> Great to take up to your room if you just want to chill for a little bit. We actually love the Lagoon Grill. That was our family favorite, if you will. It's next to the Dolphins. And was, you know, just like burgers, chicken fingers, fries, all that sort of thing. And then a really nice place to eat, and I highly recommend that you do eat there at least once during your stay. It's on the point and it overlooks the water, so it's beautiful to go any time of day, but I don't even know if they're open for lunch, but we went in the evening and the torches were lit and it was really nice. You should probably make reservations for that one though. Also, of course, the luau includes all you can eat food and drinks, including alcohol. So I just photographed our drinks and then I was sliding Chad's back to him and completely spilled it all over him. We don't even have the girls tonight and I'm making messes. That was the roasted pig, which was amazing. Very, very good. Highly recommend that as well. All right, reason number three to stay at the Hilton Waikoloa Village are the epic sunsets and just the amazing relaxation. They have hammocks here, and I don't know why, but I just love hammocks. And pro tip here, the best hammock, even in the extreme heat and humidity of the day, this one was cool. It has a nice ocean breeze if you can get it. It's just down from the um, like Buddha statue thing that everybody goes to for sunset. It's just over from that. If you can snag that one, definitely do it. Otherwise, they have hammocks all throughout the property. The sunsets, you really can't go wrong. On the map, it will show you the sunset viewing areas. There are quite a few of them. So just get there early, find yourself a seat, the camera and just enjoy the beautiful sunsets and the waves crashing along the shore. It's really magical. And reason number two to stay at Hilton Waikoloa Village is of course the pools and the water slides and the hot tubs and could, I could go on and on about those. So they have a couple different sections. They have a little lazy river and uh, some smaller pools on one side of the resort and then on the other side they have the big main pool and the hot tubs and a bigger water slide there but no matter which one you choose you're gonna have a great time beautiful views uh, remember those flip-flops because the pavement does get pretty hot and the hot tubs are I have never been in such hot hot tubs as this one. <laughs> it was kind of once I got used to it it was really nice but getting in every single person was like it's so hot <laughs> so just be warned, if you have super little kids, you probably do not want them in there at all. We had a blast on the water slide. <laughs> and kind of through the coves with the waterfalls coming down, it was really nice. They do have a, a little beach area, like a fake fake beach area with sand for the little tykes that they can go in. They have a swinging bridge that goes over the pool and is a lot of fun to walk across. All right, you guys, and the number one reason to visit Hilton Waikoloa Village is definitely hands down the snorkeling. So if you love to snorkel, if your family loves to snorkel, this is the resort for you. You don't have to leave the resort. They have this lagoon, which I'll be honest, when we arrived, I was a little disappointed because it doesn't, it's not like that crystal blue water in the lagoon. But when we got in there, all kinds of fish. I mean, Chad and I went to Bora Bora last year and I was seeing the same fish in this lagoon at this resort. Uh, angel fish and blow fish. And it's kind of cool because as you go along, they have little signs in the water. I think of where, I guess, where that fish maybe lives. <laughs> when I saw the eel one, I just moved right along from there. I had no interest in meeting up with another eel yet. So in the lagoon, it's nice because especially if your kids haven't had a lot of experience snorkeling. The waters are calmer there. It's kind of more protected. Our daughters definitely felt safer in there.
here. You can swim out from the lagoon, which my husband and I did, and we actually liked that snorkeling better because there's kind of a, a little alcove that is pretty protected from the waves as well, and that water is clearer and deeper. It's the same fish out there, they're just bigger. We really enjoyed going out. And then also the sea turtles. The sea turtles come right into the lagoon, those great big sea turtles, which I've always wanted. And we got pretty close, got yelled at a couple times because you're in there and you don't even see them. And then all of a sudden you turn around and there's a sea turtle and you're really supposed to stay, I believe, 20 feet away from them. So <laughs> you've been told, stay away from the sea turtles, but they are in there and it is a lot of fun to see them. Aside from Bora Bora, this is the best snorkeling that we've ever had and you definitely wanna bring your snorkel gear. I think it's 30 or $40 to rent it there, and it's only for, I believe it's only for a half hour or an hour. I didn't look that closely, but it would definitely be worth it for you if snorkeling. I mean, I to me, that's the main draw of this resort. So if you're going to wanna do it, which you will, <laughs> just buy a pair for 30 bucks before you leave, throw it in your suitcase, and then you can have it whenever you want and you don't have to pay by hour or half an hour to use it. All right guys, so you've stuck around for my top five. I did tell you I would tell you what not to do. Okay, so here's what we did. I booked us a hotel in San Francisco or LA the night before so that we could take the first flight out of the day so we could maximize our time at the resort because even before check-in, you are allowed to use the pools and water slides and even after checkout you are. So I thought I was super smart doing this. However, <laughs> I failed to pack an extra little bag that we could just quickly change into swim clothes. Cause in my head, I thought I'm a diamond member, I'll get early check-in. And when we got there, I told the girls, just wait, we'll get earlier check-in and then we'll change in our room and it'll be a lot easier. We didn't get early check-in. I think we arrived at 11. So we were wandering around the resort in the extreme heat of the day and humidity. We were getting hot, we were getting tired, we were getting grumpy. <laughs> and we could have been sitting by a pool with a drink in our hand. If you plan to get in early, which I highly recommend, Bend, pack yourself a little swim bag so you can easily access that. You can drop your bags and they'll take those and deliver them to your room. However, the bathroom right there is super small and it's really inconvenient to try to take suitcases and even your little roller bags. So just throw everybody's swimsuits into a small backpack so you can have those to change into when you get them. A couple more tips for you as well. The dolphins. Okay, so we were at breakfast one morning and it looks out over the lagoon. It's very beautiful. And we thought we saw a dolphin in the lagoon swimming towards the Dolphin Quest area, but then we thought maybe we just imagined it. Well, later, the day that we checked out, we overheard a lady saying that they do let the dolphins out every morning into the lagoon. And if I had known that, it would have been so worth getting up early and getting out there and renting a paddleboard or just snorkeling around while the dolphins were in there. So I don't know if that's true, but when you check in, I would totally ask them if that is the case and if so get out there when they let those dolphins out because how fun would that be also at this resort they had Japanese speaking and Japanese writing everywhere if you know anybody that is from Japan and doesn't also speak English which I don't know that there are that many maybe the older generation this would be a great resort for them as well where they would feel welcome every tram stop they speak in English and Japanese so they really go out of their way to make the Japanese feel welcome here <laughs> And speaking of trams, I saw some reviews online where people were angry because they said that the trams were always full. So it's laid out, there's the main stop in the middle, and then there's two main stops at the ends for the luau on the other end. So if you're in one of the stops between, the tram may get full. It was never full except for for the luau. So at that point, I would suggest just walking one stop over to the one on the end, and then you can get on, have a seat, no problem. It's really not that big of a deal. I love to walk, so mostly we walked places anyway. However, in the heat of the day, or if you have little ones or lots of bags that you're carrying to the pool, it is nice to just hop on the tram. Plus, the tram is air conditioned, so bonus. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys saw my Bora Bora, you know I don't like extreme heat and humidity. That's why I live in Montana, but I do like the tropical destination. So pro tip for the tram usage. There you go. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Leave a comment below if you've been or if you have any other suggestions, recommendations, if you have any other questions that I failed to answer, I would be happy to answer those. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great week.
Okay, so we just went and we flew the drone. Got some good drone footage, hopefully, but our stinking home button is not working on that thing and it takes it away. So we just have to get kind of close and then grab it. And I got a little cut up this time when we did that. So <laughs> a little better communication and we need to fix that stupid home button. The things I do for you guys.